Whoa. Okay, this is not something you guys get to see every day. We have something very exclusive in the house. Since the day they were announced, a lot of people, including me, were like eagerly waiting for these GPUs to arrive in the market because AMD showed a lot of promise with this, especially with that affordable price tag. And guys, in the house today, we have their all new Radeon 7900 XT GPU with up to 20 gigs of GDDR6 memory. And using it, I will be building your dream gaming PC 2023. And by the way, this video was sponsored by AMD, a big thank you to them. So before we actually get started with the build and talk about the configuration and parts, let me actually tell you like what's new with Radeon 7000 series GPUs. As far as I remember, 7000 series GPUs were announced in like December 2022. And these are the world's first chiplet based gaming GPUs. And they're based on like a brand new RDNA 3 architecture. Last year's RDNA 2 GPUs were based on like a 7 nanometer process. And this year's RDNA 3 is like based on a mix of 5 and 6 nanometer nanometer process and also borrows like chiplet technology. So AMD actually borrowed their chiplet technology from their Ryzen processors. So the approach is a bit similar but the whole design is different. So on these new GPUs on board you're actually getting to see multiple number of dice. You can see like memory cache dice, you can see graphic compute dice and also included with like huge amount of infinity cache. Pair all of this hardware you can expect like next gen performance over here. That too at a very affordable price compared to the competition. That is why I'm like very excited to talk about these GPUs. So in the 7000 series, as of now, AMD has announced like two new GPUs. You're getting like 7900 XT and 7900 XTX edition. XTX is like their flagship edition GPU, guys. Goes neck to neck with like 4080 also. And today in the house, we have the younger sibling, the Radeon 7900 XT, which offers like crazy performance compared to last year gen GPUs, guys. And today in this video, I'll definitely show you all the performance benchmarks, gameplays. It'll be like a review you guys so you can get full information on these GPUs in this video. Make sure to watch it till the end. So that was like a little brief on this brand new GPUs. But what exactly can a consumer expect over here? First of all guys, since they are based on like RDNA 3 architecture with a chiplet based design, you can expect like high rendering performance and also like excellent level of gaming on these new GPUs. So you're getting like up to 24 gigs of GDDR6 memory and also like higher and improved clock frequencies. You can expect like 4K level gaming, 8K level gaming is also possible on the the flagship level model. Given a little insight on RDNA 3, you're getting like all new stream processors which are nothing but your compute units and are capable of offering both ray tracing and AI acceleration as well. So combine all of these hardware tech and also included with AMD software, it's like a full on package guys. And as I've told you, they're not just made for gaming, they're also made for like creators as well. You can expect high performance rendering because these brand new 7000 series GPUs actually feature AMD's Radiance Display Engine and Pair that with like DisplayPort 2.1, it delivers up to 12 bit of HDR and full coverage of Rec 2020 color space. So you can expect like excellent level of color accuracy, even up to like 8K resolution at 165 Hz refresh rate. And how can you miss out AMD's FSR technology? FSR stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. And with the recent update, we're getting FSR 2.1 that shows a lot of promise and also improvement. So basically, Fidelity FX Super Resolution greatly boosts your frame rate in the game without actually compromising image quality. And in certain cases and scenarios, it offers like better than native sort of image quality. Right now, a wide range of games support FSR, including God of War, Spider-Man, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and much more. And last but not the least, you cannot miss out AMD software also, the Adrenaline Edition technology. So it's got like a very clean, modern and easy to use UI and offers variety of things. You've got like exclusive AMD technologies like super resolution, free sync. You can also do like performance tuning for your hardware and enable or disable performance stat, game stats, driver updates, get all your news information. It's like an all-in-one hub and solution. So that is what you can expect over here. And using this brand new 7000 series GPUs, today I will be building your your dream gaming PC 2023. Now dream gaming PC matlab, it should be like super powerful, top notch, next level, right? So I won't be compromising anywhere on the hardware. So for the CPU, I'll be using the most powerful gaming CPU right now in the market, which is also from AMD only guys. 
It's a recent launch Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. I actually reviewed this CPU last week, I believe. In case if you missed that video, make sure to watch it above. So that is a CPU paired that with like Radeon 7900 XT from MSI with up to 20 gigs of GDDR6 memory. I'll be going with like DDR5 RAM, obviously. We'll be using like 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM clocked at 5200 megahertz. And lastly, coming to the storage, obviously PCI Gen 4 SSD only. And I think a thousand or maybe like a 1300 watt power supply. For the cooling solution, I think I'll go with the 360mm AIO, which is like more than enough to keep the thermals in check. And that is pretty much it guys. This is the whole configuration we'll be using today. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the build. So our all AMD Dream Gaming PC 2023 is done and here's how it looks like. Beautiful right? I set the whole lighting to red color to match up with AMD's theme and boy that's a gorgeous looking machine. Literally my heart skipped a beat when I first powered it on and saw. It's a very advanced system both in terms of tech and hardware. I mean look at that AI over there, it's got a display of its own and that massive Radeon 7900XT GPU. Just have a look at these beautiful shots and I hope you enjoy the video. So before we jump into the performance part, let me quickly tell you the specs of this GPU. The Radeon RX 7900 XT is based on AMD's new RDNA 3 architecture and features 84 compute units and ray tracing accelerators. It's got a total of 5376 stream processors, 80 MB of second gen infinity cache with up to 20 GB of GDDR6 memory. The total GPU board power is rated at 315 watt, so a 750 watt power supply would be like more than enough to get started. Really appreciate that AMD for not going above 400 watts. And test bench setup I've already told you right, Ryzen 9 7950X 3D which is a 16 core 32 thread CPU paired with 7900XT GPU from AMD and 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and obviously Gen 4 SSD. Alright then time to jump into the benchmarks. We'll be playing a couple of AAA title games at 1440p resolution, very high graphics and see what this new gen GPU is capable of. Starting off with Spider-Man Miles Morales. As you can see everything has been maxed out right now and this is the first test right here we'll be disabling ray tracing so right now ray tracing is off and AMD's FSR 2.1 is also disabled I want to show you the raw potential of this GPU in this first test let's see how it actually handles 1440p gaming so sit back relax and just check out this gameplay <laughs> Oh wow, very impressive results. Look at that, we're able to play Spider-Man at 1440p max ultra with an average of around 135 FPS. Muska gaming performance on this setup, no lags or stutters anywhere so far. I can definitely see a big improvement compared to last year's 6000 series GPUs. Just for a reference sake, the new 7900 XT is almost 21% faster than your 6900 XT during my testing. And now compared to the newer 6950 XT which was like recently released, right? There is not that big of a margin over here, only around 9-10% to faster. Alright then moving on to test number 2, let's quickly enable ray tracing and see how it performs now. Ray tracing is a big deal guys, setting it to very high, both shadows and reflections maxed out. And keep in mind AMD's FSR is also turned off right now. Hey, not 
bad, right? Look at the gameplay. At 1440p max settings with ray tracing enabled, we were getting a consistent 65 FPS on an average. Big improvement in this segment also guys compared to last year's 6000 series GPUs. Last year ray tracing was not that enjoyable, but now thanks to AMD's new RDNA 3 architecture, the experience is a lot better. Consistent 60 FPS though you are easily getting. Lower down the resolution to maybe like 1080p and you'll easily hit 80 to 90 FPS. But wait, now comes the real magic. Let me enable AMD's FSR 2.1 in the game and show you the difference. All settings still remain the same. 1440p max ultra graphics ray tracing is also enabled and boom immediate difference in the performance i mean look at that from double digit to triple digit gaming that is the kind of difference i was talking about simply enabling fsr has greatly boosted your frame rate from 60 to 100 fps on an average those are some major major gains i would say fsr as i've told you stands for fidelity fx super resolution and is amd's next level temporal upscaling technology and does wonders while gaming especially at higher resolutions like 1440p and 4k resolution i'll just put both these clips side by side and then show you the difference when fsr is off versus when FSR is on. There you go, as you can see FSR brings a buttery smooth gaming experience even with ray tracing enabled. Image quality is also fine. Actually to be honest guys it's very hard to notice any sort of difference in both these clips side by side. What do you people think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Alright, keeping Spider-Man aside, I've also played GTA 5, one of our classic favorites at 1440p max ultra settings and here also we got an average of around 155 FPS in these settings. On the overall, very satisfactory gaming performance with this new GPU, especially considering the price point. It is definitely faster than the competition 4070 Ti by around like 6 to 7 percent, but a step behind 4080. Again, though, 7900 XT isn't exactly its competition. We'll have to bring its bigger brother, the 7900 XTX flagship edition GPU that trades blows with the 4080. And finally, talking about the thermals, thermal performance is also pretty good. We had MSI's Gaming Trio Classic Edition variant with three fans, and on an average, the GPU was running around 65 degrees centigrade during my entire gaming session. Well, that is pretty much it. Time to wrap it up. Our all AMD Dream Gaming PC 2023. GPU prices though I've already told you and talking about the entire PC cost. So that will roughly cost you around like 3 lakh rupees. I'll leave all the price details and product links in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it boys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to know a lot about the product. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.